it could have been anything else they could take, it wouldn't matter to me, but that matters. Halloween started off as an extra special occasion for Kathy Hartgraves and her family, but it ended as a nightmare after a beloved family possession was stolen from their front yard. What was taken has no street value. It's not even street legal. You can't ride with it legally. It would be cruel to keep it. They used this day to honor her husband, David, who they say loved Halloween, but died suddenly of cancer two years ago. We loved it. The kids loved it. We put lights and everyone would stand and take pictures with it. They did so by creating this outdoor setup, symbolic of Kathy and David's love and life together, along with David's beloved motorcycle helmet and vest on one of the skeletons. David was a veteran. He served in the Navy. He was a great, uh, just a great father, a, a great friend to so many, and, uh, and yet he was a little bit of a bad boy. Happy Halloween. Kathy says they had just run out of candy for the many trick-or-treaters that came by and stepped away for a moment, only to walk back out and see that David's helmet was gone, a loss almost too much to bear for Kathy. It felt like I lost him again, for, you know, because it just was so an important part of who he was. Just to see the helmet just gone and the skeleton bare like that, it just brought back the trauma of losing him. And and for her, she cried herself to sleep. She, she really did. She went to bed in tears. But today she is begging anyone out there to help return the helmet. If they bring it back, put it on the porch, leave it in the dark. Um, no questions asked. The helmet has distinct black stickers with white writing and another sticker with writing in red. The family is hoping someone will do the right thing and bring that piece of David back home where he belongs. Check your children's candy bags. Check their bedrooms or ask them about it. In Stockton, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. The family says they will have a sign and their Halloween decorations still up outside their home on Alexandria Place and Bonnie Brook Drive so that whoever has the helmet can find them. And the family is offering a reward to anyone who brings it back.